Welcome back to my channel everyone. In last few months, Google has dropped many features with December and January releases, including some app related new features and some updates in existing features also. So let's go through all those features and let's find out how exciting they are. Stay tuned till the end as I'll share some tips and we'll tell you about some hidden features within your Android settings. Also, we'll look at some new AI features added to your phone recently. But before that, please subscribe to help me grow this channel. Your support will keep me motivated and it will enable me to bring exciting and amazing tech content to you in future. So without wasting any more time, let's get into action. I would like to start by discussing about one of the most useful and groundbreaking features ever added to Android. Now you can use your pixel camera as your laptop or desktop webcam. You no longer need to rely on low quality built in camera on laptops as you can use your pixel camera for high quality video calls. Even more impressive is that this feature is not limited to PCs. It is also compatible with the Mac systems, but it doesn't stop there with very minimal expectations. I tried it using with an iPad thinking it wouldn't work with the Apple devices as usual. So I just connected the pixel seven to the device through a USB cable and selected the webcam as simple as that. However, I was shocked to see that it worked on iPad and I'm sure it will also work with other Android tablets as well. It also supports all types of video conferencing applications on Mac and PCs, including FaceTime. It's hard to run things on FaceTime sometimes, but the best part is there are no restrictions or ecosystem limitations. It's simply about setting standards and leading by example. Thanks to Google. With each passing year and subsequent updates, Google continues to refine its material you design language, demonstrating a commitment to enhancement and evolution. Periodically, I observe subtle improvements and alterations in the user interface. At times, these updates may involve the introduction of new color palettes inspired by the user's chosen wallpapers. Remarkably, many Google applications now embrace this design language. Moreover, I recently noticed the Google Translate app has seamlessly integrated the material you theme reflecting a cohesive approach across Google's suite of applications. Gradually, the rationale and purpose behind this design language when it was launched with Android 12 became clearer, resulting in enriched real-time user experience. So Material U is everywhere now. Now let's talk about some hot AI features. There is a hope that we will get the circle to search in older Pixel devices. We can see this in Pixel tips but you can't use it right now. Even when you click on try it now, it redirects to some error page. I have already tested this feature in Samsung S24 and it worked flawlessly. It's nothing but an extension of Google Lens. It's pretty good and very thoughtful. Pixel 8 and 8 Pro already have this feature and there are chances that we'll get this as feature drops on other older Pixel devices using the Tensor chips. The next AI feature that is added to Pixel Tips is Magic Compose in Google Messages. Pixel 8 and 8 Pro users again can enjoy this feature right now and older devices have to wait again. Magic Compose can help you add an extra spark of your personality to your conversations. It will offer suggested responses based on the context of your messages and even magically transform what you write into different styles. And this can make your messages more concise and professional. This feature is in beta phase right now and uses generative AI and soon it will be available for Pixel 6 and newer phones. Pixel 8 Pro, it uses Gemini Nano, which is Google's most efficient model built for on-device tasks. Another AI feature in Google Messages is Photomoji. With Photomoji, you can transform your favorite photos into reactions using on-device Google AI. Photomoji saves these transformed photos in a separate tab, which can be used in conversations and group chats. You can also download and share them with anyone, anywhere. This feature is already available for Pixel 6 and newer phones. And I hope it's meant for older Pixel devices as well, like 4a, 5a, Pixel 5, rest of them. So please let me know in the comments if you have already received the updates for all the older devices that I mentioned. Another very useful feature added here is Document Clean. Document Clean allows you to easily remove smudges or stains from your scanned documents. When a stain is detected on a scanned document, the clean option appears. This feature comes in handy when you need to send some documents or bills and notice an oil or coffee stain on the paper. 
you can simply swipe the areas which has stain or dirt. Also, you can smooth out all the paper creases and damages due to mishandling or storing it inappropriately. By using the cleaning feature, you can send or share a clean digital copy of your document, saving you from any awkwardness. Now, there are several Google Photos related features added as part of this update. So when you are in Google Photos, you can just simply swipe up to see the filters available for your photos, like the portrait blur or auto enhance filter. And you can simply select any one of these filter, which will open the photo in the editor with pre-applied filter of your choice. This actually saves you few clicks and is a quick way to add filters on the go. One more feature added here is portrait light. With the improved portrait light in Google Photos, a new AI model enables the balancing of light to easily remove harsh shadows and enhance both new and old portrait photos. Often due to the position or uneven distribution of light, certain parts of the face or picture may appear brighter in some areas. This feature helps to balance that light and smooth out those areas. I was able to correct a lot of old portrait photos through this feature. And I would say there's another update or enhancement in the photo unblur. Photo unblur is now better at sharpening images of dogs and cats. It can be sometimes hard to photograph clear images of pets as they don't stay still. But this feature gives you the freedom to take pictures of your pets at any point of time and you can capture the moment and fix them later in Google Photos. Now Google Password Manager can identify which of your accounts support pass keys and help you add them with just a few taps. Pass keys are simpler, safer way to sign in as you don't need to remember complex passwords and you can just access your accounts with your screen lock. You can try this pass key demo to quickly know how to set it up. And if you have an account with one of these early launch partners, Google's password manager on Pixel will helpfully guide you to exact location on the partner's website or app where you can upgrade to a passkey. And currently it is available on Pixel 5a and newer phones, including Pixel Tablet and Pixel Fold. Another security related feature is repair mode. Repair mode gives you peace of mind by helping you to keep personal data protected and preserved, even when your device is out of your hands, whether you are sending your device to a repair shop or taking it in for service. This feature ensures that your phone restarts in a secure mode. In this mode, any user accessing the device will not be able to access your personal data. It restores your phone to a state similar to when you first purchased it. And if you're done, you just need to exit the repair mode and your phone will restart and get back to its original state. Now, there are some new features and updates related to global search, the app search and settings. In your global search, you will also find quick settings in the search results. If your search criteria matches one of the initials of quick settings, you'll see them in the results. Additionally, you can enable or disable these settings directly from this interface. Furthermore, if you're searching for any term related to weather or forecast, you will also see a weather tile in your search results now. The next feature is car crash detection. So I'm in my car right now and we are going to test how it works. Wait, I'm not going to crash my car. I'll just show you the demo in the car. You can easily enable car crash detection now and in any accident or crash, emergency services will be contacted automatically. Additionally, your location will be shared with your emergency contacts if you do not respond within a minute. Crash detected. Say emergency to call 100 now. Otherwise, say cancel. Cancel. And now a very useful feature that is added in network settings is troubleshoot mobile connections. There is now a new option called troubleshoot mobile connection. If you encounter any network issues, you'll find helpful tips and links to assist you. Additionally, there is an option to reset your network settings also. This will refresh your Wi-Fi or mobile connection and resolve any underlying network or connectivity problems. Now, this is a must have feature. With watch unlock, you can use your watch to unlock your phone with ease. Even if your hands are full or your face is covered, you'll be able to easily unlock your phone as long as you're wearing your watch or it's nearby. Now there's a catch. This feature is exclusively supported by Pixel Watch. And if you remember in the starting of this video, I was talking about some hidden features in your Android settings. We have one remarkable feature hidden in Android settings, which is Extend Unlock. With this feature, you can designate trusted devices to unlock your phone. 
when your trusted device is nearby, it automatically keeps your phone unlocked, eliminating the need to enter your PIN or use fingerprints. I was using this feature with my Pixel 4a for last three years. And if you are owning any older Pixel device, you can have fun. Last but not least, Google's reading mode app is updated now and has got the ability to work in Gmail as well as your social media apps. It doesn't support all your emails, but if there is a long email or post on social media apps, you can easily read or listen to it through your reading mode. I use it all the time to read articles on Google Chrome and it makes your reading easy and simple as sometimes there are a lot of distractions and ads on your web pages. And by the way, this is not the native app. It doesn't come pre-installed with your Android. So you can easily install it from Play Store and you need to enable it from the accessibility and settings to use it. So let me know in the comments what are all your favorite features. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Till then, my name is Sushant. See you in the next video.